Hello, my name is Gabriel. Welcome to a tutorial -y thing uh, using a number 19 time and just showing off some saving, saving mistake, uh, some clean driving, some uh, approaches to driving, some standards that I think I you know, want to hammer into people's brains to, to you know, improve their driving and make them more consistent. Trying to simplify. Uh, and you know, make it give you just a set of tools to work with, so you can uh, get to the end of the stage. Let's go then. Sporting the uh, very lovely livery right here. Okay, so just in that first thing, just something to note that I press the brakes right here and try to rotate the car so we can carry a nice bit of speed through the corner it works very nicely in the next corner we're travelling slow enough we can just keep the throttle firmly planted if you uh, set the brake bias towards the rear you can use the brakes to rotate the car into the corner, which means you can do a very awesome power slide. Here we're going to use a sort of... well actually this is the mis a mistake corner, in fact I just remember, so it's sort of a Scandinavian flick, sort of right there, but then I messed it up. This corner is a good demonstration of the kind of standard thing that you want to you know, go into every corner thinking. So, so as you can know, we're approaching it. <coughs> we're still on the throttle and we're starting to rotate the car. We're off the throttle, on the brakes. We're trying to ease the car around. Try not to point the car too far away from the straight, uh, the straight away that we're going to be driving into. Then corners like this. Sometimes when the road is very thin, it's just so much more. It's so much easier and so much more consistent to just drive it around like a granny. So you can see I break down. Very light throttle all the way through. And here we're just gonna nail the gas until we have to break down. Again, just gonna be off, the, easing the throttle just to bring the car around. If you're going around corners and you're realising that the car maybe isn't turning um, so much, just tr try, you know, giving about half gas and just easing it around the corner and see how that works for you. In theory, you should be able to turn the car around the corner much easier. Again, nice standard corner, just break down, not too much gas on the way around, and then as soon as we <coughs> get, can drive in that straight line, we just get full gas. And again. Here's some corners where, in these old cars, some people might tell you to Scandinavian flick, which you could. Um, I find it easier. I mean, I think I do here actually. I do. I think I do use this kind of thing like that. It's sort of a gentle one. But I find it easier to actually just use a bit of handbrake. You find it it's a bit more consistent. So you can see right there. You can see my car turns into the corner very sharp. That's because handbrake right there and it goes round the corner. This is how to correct mistake. Be gentle with your inputs and just try and stay calm. So you can see right here that I, I don't really know what happened. I think for some reason I came out of this corner and it just wanted to go over here and then we just kind of used it. Didn't do much throttle or brake, just sort of turn the car back into the road. You'll find a car is very easy to control. 
you just simply lay off the gas and try and turn it in the direction that you want to go in. <coughs> and break down, not too much gas, so we can get the car's pointed the direction we want it to be. When changing direction of a car, brilliant thing to do, makes it much easier, is so you can see the car is pointed in the wrong direction at the moment and we kind of want to start straightening it up as you can see I do right there and to start it to bring the weight sorry I'll start that again in the in this straight line we want to start thinking about turning the car left and by braking here that means that the, f the weight transfers to the front of the car onto the front wheels and you can start turning the car a little bit because with that added weight there'll be more traction on the front uh, you know where the car is controlled on you know the front wheels obviously so something to try for yourself is if you're coming up to a sort of s s bend you can sort of in in the middle of those two corners you just tap the brake and turn the car and you'll feel it responds so much better it's kind of like you can use the brakes to turn, not just to slow, but you can use it to turn the car. See there, I'm using it sort of halfway through the corner, not just to slow down, but to turn the car into the tighter corner as, the co as that corner becomes uh, tightens. Handbrake here, second gear. Handbrake here down to first gear. Handbrake again, in second gear. See here we have a sort of this is a sort of example of what I'm on about. So so you can see I'm I'm basically through this corner that I'm on at the moment. So I'm braking and the car's going to start it's going to be much more controllable because the weight will shift slightly to the front. See, I take it around that corner nice and easily with the added control. Breaking nice and early here because those two bumps. And uh, that's the end of the, of the stage. So I get uh, number 19 time, which isn't bad because I'm quite used, to, quite new to these uh, Group A cars. So uh, like, comment, subscribe uh, if there's anything particular you'd like me to talk about or. Uh, it's a bit more detail I can go into about something, please let me know. Alright, cheers. Bye.